What's up, everybody? This is Brad, and this was going around a few days ago, and it's interesting. And I thought it would be uh, fun to take a look at it here on the channel with you guys and get my thoughts on it. Not much to it, so let's just watch it. This is a MOBA game based on Shonen Jump. And I said based on Shonen Jump for a particular reason. So we got, of course, the star of this video, I think, is going to be Goku here. You've got some Naruto characters there, some Demon Slayer characters, One Piece. Surprised we haven't seen any Bleach characters with Bleach currently in a, uh, a resurrection point right now. But you can put Goku in anything and it'll sell. And that's it. That's all you got. At least in this particular video. There's more. There's like more gameplay stuff out there. Now the interesting thing here is while I do think that Goku looks pretty cool here. The thing to note is when I said it's it's based on Shonen Jump, and that's because this game is exclusive to Jip, uh, to China, not Japan. This is a game that is only available in China. So that tells me that a game filled with characters, uh, with Japanese characters from Japanese media, and it's exclusive to China. Suggests to me that this is probably not an official product. <laughs> this, this has probably not uh, been approved of from Shonen Jump if even Japan doesn't have this game. I think it's interesting. I mean, uh, like, I wouldn't want to see, you know, a shonen, another Shonen Jump crossover game. That's not anything less than a straight up traditional 2D fighting game. Like Jump Force was a colossal failure. As far as I'm aware. It was enough so that they terminated it. You cannot get this game anymore. You cannot buy Jump Force anymore. So. I would. I suggested before that. The thing they need to do next is. Stick with what works. Like, the arena fighters work for Dragon Ball, and that's fine, but that's more of the strength of Dragon Ball. You could do something that's going to hold up regardless, because there's already, a, like, a dedicated fan base to traditional fighting games with this. Like, most of these characters are so powerful anyway, I don't really think that anyone cares which one has the uh, technically the highest level power level, you know? Who, who cares who cares about how strong... Uh, who cares if Orihime could actually beat Majin Buu? Who cares if they if they actually had a... If they put them in a 2D fighting game together, which one is technically stronger? Just make the fighting look cool. Like, Dragon Ball Fighters gave you the, uh... The excuse that there was some kind of technology, uh... Suppressing all of the really powerful fighters' powers and putting them all basically on the same exact even terms. So yeah, that was that was like a storyline excuse for why, uh, you know, Super Saiyan Goku might would struggle against the Ginyu Force now, even though Goku's got access to God forms as well. But I don't think you really even need that. Some of these characters, their powers are so uh, wild and over the top. Like, I don't think if, that people would care much for that. I mean, look at, like, Smash Brothers. Realistically, a Pikachu, any Pokemon, should not be able to do any damage to Mewtwo. But in Pokemon, in Smash Brothers, a Pichu or a Jigglypuff could easily defeat a Mewtwo if you know how to play them. So, like... You can throw logic out of the window for a traditional fighting game and just make it fun to play. So so that all that like power level nonsense doesn't matter. 
didn't mean to undo that. But yeah, basically this is gonna this this has to be an unlicensed, unofficial game. Kind of is, is reminding me now of that unofficial Nintendo MOBA that was out. Donkey did a video about it. Like, it, it had voiceover in it, too. As best as I can tell, you can tell when, like, the characters are using their attacks or when, when the characters are speaking, that it doesn't sound like Japanese to me. So... And that's not, that's not me, you know, I'm far from an expert on Japanese or, or any other languages, but it doesn't sound like, like Japanese. I, I, I can't, doesn't sound like any, like I've seen a lot of sub Dragon Ball and it doesn't, I can't pick up anything that sounds familiar that Goku was saying or whatever. And some of the dialogues in English, but that's okay because like ja Japan uh, does that too. So But yeah, the, I think the the key takeaway here, this is a game. Although it is kind of ironic, though, that a game where, at least in this particular video, uh, the focus is on Goku here. It's kind of ironic that... That uh, this is a game... A, uh, a bunch of Japanese characters from Japanese anime and Japanese manga in a game exclusive to China, but in Goku's case, Journey to the West is an old Chinese tale. So, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a weird, ironic thing for Goku to be in a game that's exclusive to China, uh, considering it's based on Journey to the West, and, you know, the story of Sun Wukong, so, that's, that's kind of a funny little thing there. Anyway, yeah, uh, I mean, the game looks fine for a MOBA game like this. I mean, still, not what I would choose to do with these characters. I think that there would be way more money. Like, these MOBA games and stuff like, you know, Pokemon Unite. Which, I like Pokemon Unite, but it's still, you know... I, could, I couldn't really get myself to spend more time on it than... Like, I, I can't. Like, it's fun for what it is. But, like, that battle pass is still brutal. Like, I'm sorry. Like, like some of the costumes for the Pokemon are cute. But I don't think I would be willing to spend, like, a giant amounts of time trying to unlock a hat for Charizard. <laughs> or whatever. A jacket for Blastoise. You know, even if they look kind of funny and cool, like, I just couldn't do it. And especially, like, the main gifts you get out of that stuff is, like, socks for your trainer avatar that you don't really ever see except in the loading, uh, except in the lobby of the game. So, yeah, I don't think the rewards for these are really all that worth it, to be honest. But anyway, I thought it was interesting. What do you guys think? If this was a real game... And, I'm, and again, I, I, it could be. Maybe it is. But everything here, it doesn't seem like... I highly doubt that Shonen Jump put their uh, stamp of approval on this game. Because media just works different in, in China. It just does. Uh, Chinese government very much uh, likes to sort of decide how media is handled there in in uh, very interesting ways, like uh, lots of uh, lots of films have been released in China, uh, where only in China the endings are changed. Where say like if some if if if, if the main character of a film does something illegal, but ultimately saves the day or whatever, I I don't know what it is. Like the, the Chinese government will rewrite endings to movies. And there's been like somewhere like maybe the main character of a movie is a criminal, and at the end of the day, he, you know, in the original in, in ter the original version of the movie, the guy gets away, and he gets to start like a new life, or he has to go into hiding or whatever. But he did something good in the, in the end. But the the Chinese government will rewrite it. To, will will just cut the footage out completely at the end, and throw up text at the end of like with like 
uh, and say like the, the the police that would later move in like two weeks later the, the police would arrest the protagonist and he would go to prison where he would uh, you know uh, uh, pay his debt to society you know <laughs> Like a lot of the film, a lot of like more like these big action movies where the characters are may not necessarily be uh, uh, living within the confines of the law or uh, they're not they're not model of standing citizens. So they got to make sure that uh, that if you broke the law, you get arrested in at the end of the movie. So it's just weird stuff. But again, like, but I'm I'm curious though. How will Toei respond to this? I'm I'm sure Toei would have to have something here. I mean, Japan can get cr uh, pretty wild with their copyright stuff, and if they think somebody's uh, making money off of characters they own, they might come after them and shut this game down. We know how Nintendo can be sometimes about stuff like that. Nintendo's quick to put an end to fan projects too if they think that somebody's may, uh, maybe making money from them or could potentially take money from them uh, by saying like, hey, this fan game is really popular. Maybe people would rather play the fan game than the official game. We need to shut the fan game down. It sucks, but, but money makes people do uh, crazy things. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Would you play this? Or would you rather play my idea and have them be, like, have it be a traditional fighting game? One like Fighters, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, where, you know, the animation is more inspired, directly anime inspired, and it looks pretty, like, it looks like anime, and the action is over the top and explosive and exciting. I think people would rather have that than this. But anyway, that's my thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. Go check out all my other stuff if you would. You can leave a comment too. I would appreciate that. And we'll be back another day with another video. Till then, I'll see you later.